Hello and welcome to a new video about control engineering. This we have done last time. Control engineering, how it looks like, the control loop. We've talked about the control loop. Well, today we want to go a little bit more in detail what means controlling and where is it used. Okay? So let's, let's again think about what means controlling. Well, we have a control variable. Uh, and we have a controller and a control system. This is what we have talked last time. What does it then mean? Controlling, regeln, controlling. What does it mean? Well, we want to guide a continuous process. So this process which is running here is a continuous one. Yeah? And the controller has the task to guide the controlled variable. Okay? So we want to, to guide it somehow. And how do we want to guide it? Well, we want to guide it that the control variable is approximating the reference variable. Okay, so the controlled variable needs to go to the reference variable. And so the con controlling means to guide a continuous process in a way that the controlled variable is approximating the reference variable and needs to be defined quality criteria. And the control system is not allowed to reach some dangerous situations, to reach dangerous or forbidden areas in the process, exceeding some maximum pressure, or temperature, or something like this. This is simply not forbidden. This also has to be prevented by the controller. This is controlling. Yeah. Also in transition, transition phases. Yeah. If there is one phase right now in the control system, then we make a transition to another phase by change, for instance, of the reference value to another value. We then in some sort of transition phase. Yeah. And also in this transition, transition phase, transition phase, the <laughs> The control system is, of course, not allowed to reach on dangerous areas. Yeah. Control system, uh, next task. What is the control system? Well, the control system is that part of the control, control system, which, where the influencing of the controlled variable is taking place. Okay? And the other part is the controller. Huh? And all together is the control system. This is the control system and all together is the control system. Okay? So the control system is where the influencing of the controller on the controlled variable takes part. That's the control system. There are several different control systems out there. Yeah? So we can distinguish between first order control systems, second order control systems, third or higher order control systems, which may basically reflect the number of, of energy storage things inside there. Yeah? So energy storage would, might, might be energy storage, might be a spring, might be a mass which is storing heat energy or, or something like this, Some, somewhere where energy might be stored. Yeah. Maybe a location of a weight, yeah. potential energy, spring, tension, yeah. also potential energy. Yeah. Maybe a rotating mask, then we store kinetic energy. Yeah. So those, the number of those uh, energy storage items inside the system is determining the order. Yeah. We talked about this in, 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 in measurement. And there we also said the control system either be described as a differential equation, then we can solve the reaction a mathematical way, yeah? or we do it empiric way that we select something or put there a test function, see how the control system is working. Yeah? We did this empiric way and measurement. Yeah, you can watch this video. There we also said, okay, first order, second order systems and so on. And now we're dealing even with higher order systems. Yeah. 
So, this is what it means, controlling. Right? These are the different things. Taking, taking into account there are also things we have not named up to now. Next video will be, we will then naming those things. Yeah? So where does control, control engineering, where is it used? Yeah? This feedback control engineering. If I'm thinking about control engineering, I have always in mind that we can, uh, you know, guide a process somehow. Yeah? And that's also a big part, so process control systems. Yeah? This is a huge part, yeah? We can have them, you know, in the chemi chemical industry, yeah, we have them in power plants, we have them uh, in food processing, yeah. There are always things to be kept in mind, like, you know, typical process control systems uh, units are controlling somewhere a pressure, controlling somewhere a levels, controlling some level, controlling somewhere a flow, yeah? how much salt you want to add to our sausage. <laughs> Something like that, yeah? Process control system, yeah? And think about all the different processes which are out there, yeah, in petrochemia, yeah, for instance, and chemical industry, and so on and so on, yeah? What needs to be the reaction time? Well, the reaction time depends, yeah? So we might be then in reaction times, we want to reach it in seconds. Yeah. Or it might be suitable to reach it even in minutes. Yeah. There might be processes out there where it reaches in minutes. No issue there. Yeah. Process control system. Yeah. Then a big field also home automation. Yeah. Home automation or building automation. There we want to... Uh, you know, control temperature, control humidity, control, I don't know, lightning intensity, control the shades, and home automation, yeah? building automation, also big part. Uh, there, you know, if it comes to, to, to lightning and so on, then we would reach somewhere, I don't know, minutes. And temperature and so on, it might be even okay if it takes one hour. Uh, all right, hours, uh, minutes to hours, this would be the time constants we want, we would expect there. Uh. Home automation, then also big drive control. So we have a drive, electrical drive, or other drives, whatever, yeah? and we want, to, we want to control the torque, we want to control the rotation speed, we want to control, uh, you know, um, and, and there, yeah? if I want to change the speed or the torque of a drive, it should react, and it should react fast. This is a highly dynamic thing, yeah? so we are at, at somewhere tenth of seconds. Yeah. This would be the reaction time. The drive control, you know, have some rotation speed. Now go up, must be fast. Yeah? Accelerate and so on. Drive control, depending of course on the type of the drive, but usually we want to react. Yeah? Back, back. Mm -hmm. And also, also controlling electrical variables. Electrical variables are often controlled. Yeah? So what are, what are electrical variables? Voltages, currents, electrical power, something like this. We want to control this. Yeah? We want to maintain the voltage level of the grid constant. Yeah? And we want to, this, I mean, this has potential for destruction. There we also have to be fast. Yeah? So there we are also somewhere at uh, 0 to 1 seconds area yeah? we, we, we have to reach. Yeah? So we are milliseconds area, electrical variables control. Yeah? Then position control. Yeah? 
strongly works together with drive control. If you want to position somewhere a tool in a CNC machine, a CNC milling tool, position the cutter, position the item you want to work with, yeah? position control. Yeah? Some drive controls have to work together to put this in the, in the correct position. Also here, highly dynamic demands. Zero than one second. Yeah. I'll write seconds. Looks better. Position controlling. Yeah. And then we also have course control. Oh, we want to, to keep our planes flying from here, from A to B. Yeah. We need to keep a certain path, a certain course. Our ships, vessels. Yeah curse controls and also here we are in a wide range in a plane we have to react in seconds uh, on the ship it might be okay in minutes uh, to keep the new curse curse control uh, so these you see these are some areas of applications uh, i don't want to to do say it's all the areas of application, but of course, it, you know, you get a feeling it's widely used and you also get a feeling, you know, here we have seconds, we have hours, we have zero and one seconds, the reaction times and so on. They are pretty differing. Yeah? So we have a wide area of demands, yeah? really wide area of demands. And I can tell you, all of those demands, they can be reached with one single theory, yeah? the controlling, the controller theory. Yeah? So all of this, everything is inside in the controller theory. Yeah? This controller theory is a tool where we can handle all our controls with it. And since this controller theory is that, you know, that widely can be that widely used, it's a little bit abstract. You know, then we are talking not about friction anymore, we're not talking about, uh, we're not talking about energy storage, we're talking about suddenly it's a time constant or a factor or something like this. We will go into this controller theory in detail. Yeah. The controller theory, you will find out it's not, I hope you will find out it's not that hard. Yeah. However, the connection to the real world sometimes is a little bit tricky because controller theory is a little bit abstract. You know? The names and so on, it's not, it's, you have to translate the problems to the theory and then you the, the, the outcomes of the theory you have to translate again to your solutions. Yeah, yeah curse control, process control, home automation, drive control, different, different things. Yeah. We also had this, uh, some names we had already, yeah, control system, controller, and so on. There are a little bit more names, and this is what we will do next time. We will give all things a proper name that we can refer to it in our controller theory. Okay. This then will be in next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.